All right, today I got to do a little bit of repairs on the one of the pool tables, our gutter, the uh, gullies inside where the balls roll. I got damaged ones I got to repair. I'm just going to show you today how to get your pool table surface up, make it a lot easier for you to get under there and access everything. Go ahead and remove the Phillips screws, number two Phillips screwdriver, drill bit. Got a, uh, so a quarter inch socket drive here with a uh, 10 millimeter, maybe different sizes on your tables. all your bumpers, set them into the inside, go ahead and extract all your bolts. You don't want the, the threaded shaft of the bolts to stick out any while you're lifting up the slab itself. It'll snag on the side. a piece of uh, PVC pipe. This is uh, about, uh, I think it looks like it says inch and a half. I'm trying to see it in the, yeah, inch and a half PVC pipe. That's what I use. Um, I'll probably bring you in a little closer here to show you what's going on. All right, I'm going to position the PVC right back here at my waist. Since I'm one person, I haven't gotten an assistant. I'm gonna lift up both sides here with my hand. Once I get the once I get the slab up high enough, I'm gonna hit this piece of PVC pipe with my waist, rolling it underneath the table, and I'm gonna try and get back here to the. Make sure you can see it. I would like it to roll back as far as this second set of diamonds, and I'm gonna do that on both sides. thing, inch and a half piece of PVC. I probably wouldn't recommend going any thinner because the slab does weigh quite a bit. You could go up in, up in size. But either way, just like I said, position it at the edge of the table with your waist. Make sure you got a good, uh, strong back to do an exercise or a, a, a actual task such as this. Lift this side up. Hit it with your hips. Let it roll back 
in. Nice. All right, so now that I've got both pieces of pipe under, I'm going to go ahead and move this one back just a little bit more on the diamond. All right, and as you can see now that I've got the slab up on the PVC pipes, you can roll it backwards out of your way if you need to access a lot of the sides of the pool table find missing bowling or uh, pool ball watch how far you roll it over there's a halfway point it's really easily pointed out by the middle pocket cut into the slab you get past that point out the end of the table you could snap your slab in half too much pressure on the outer edge too much shear force just snap it could flip off it could hurt somebody uh, you can also roll it back the opposite way. So now you have room to access everything on this side, to clean this side, get spare uh, cool chalk out of there, maybe some Q-tips, jamming things up. But that's how you gain access to the inside. You can slide the slab to the left or right on the PVC pipes so long as they're long enough. So in case you got to get near an edge and do some edge work, like I said, I got to work on these gullies. Uh, always be careful when you have it up in the air like this. Uh, if you have people in the building, you don't get any kids or uh, just any other individuals touch it. They could push it off. They could hurt themselves or damage some of your your actual product, your pool table itself.